What's the deal with the Yamaha Pacifica? Like, who is it for? Does it sound good? Does it feel good? We're going to find out using this Pacifica 612 with the flame top and in indigo blue. Let's check it out. How's it going guys? This is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment on the videos, turn your notifications on, and check out our podcast, Fretboard Confessional, where we lengthen the discussion about things that are worth it or not. Overrated, underrated, all that kind of stuff. So let's start the conversation here on that topic about the Yamaha Pacificas. These are guitars that uh, look familiar. They got a very uh, inspired S-type look. Um, they've been around for quite a while, and most of the time when I see them, um, this is not anybody's fault but our own at Alamo Music. Uh, most of the time, the Pacificas that we see are in the Gig Maker starter packs. They are very entry level. Uh, electric guitars that come in those packs. I'm sure many of you may have started on one of those, have ordered one for a son or daughter, somebody that's trying to learn, um, because they're great value packs and they have acoustic ones, they have, um, you know, nylon string, they got electric ones. So Pacificas are a very, let's just come out and say it, they're a Strat-esque uh, interpretation of the electric guitar from Yamaha. And um, it's broken out into series. Today I got one from the, uh, you know, PAC or Pacifica 600 series. Uh, it's kind of a mouthful of a model name. This is the PAC 612 V2 FM. FM for flame maple top. This is an alder body, uh, but it's got the laminated flame maple top. It's in a really cool finish, the indigo blue. Kind of looks like jeans. Um, and, you know, this one is an HSS model. It's loaded up with really nice pickups, and I think that is kind of the first value proposition that you get when you're checking out this guitar. Um, these are all Seymour Duncan. Um, I believe it's a TB14 humbucker in the bridge position. Um, and then you got a push-pull to split that. Um, and then up here, you got the Seymour Duncan single coils. I think they're SSL1. Um, and the middle one is a reverse wound, reverse wound, uh, rever reverse polarity. That's, that's designed to make me mess up the words. Basically, it's meant to counteract hum that you typically get from a Strat style guitar. So you got these nice Seymour Duncans in there, a little bit of an upgrade, um, and you'll hear the demo, but they really sound fantastic. Um, 25 and a half inch scale length, with a maple neck, a rosewood, real rosewood, not pow ferro or anything like that, uh, or Indian laurel or walnut or anything. You got rosewood on the fretboard, and then you got some really nice, also an upgrade, um, automatic locking Grover tuners. So yes, this is a style of guitar that many would associate with blues or kind of rock, poppy kind of stuff, biting single coil tones, um, but it does have kind of the build, the look, the features, like the nicer, kind of hotter pickups and the locking tuners. Also, it's worth mentioning, the, uh, the bridge is a Wilkinson um, V50, I believe. I'm gonna double check my notes here in just a second, but um, it's a nice kind of upgraded bridge that's a little bit different um, and just rock solid. A lot of steel going on nice Grover tuners, so it does have kind of the bones of somebody uh, that would want to play a little bit heavier music. So, uh, really nice guitar to kind of hear that tone. Um, I'm gonna do some clean tones so you can hear the pickups, but then instead of throwing on a metal zone, cause that's, uh, you know, that's over. All right, metal zone is over. We got the, you know, the meme, we're past that. I wanna try out something new, a little bit different. It's not gonna be the Ingve stuff. I chose the FZ1W from Boss, um, the new fuzz, because I think it's cool. I think instead of going real bright forward distortion, let's widen it up a bit, get a little fuzzy, um, get a little bit of that vintage kind of old school push tone um, going through the Blues Junior instead of just as high gain as you can possibly get. So let's listen to some uh, clean tones, 
some fuzzy tones, and then I'll tell you what I think on the other side. <laughs> So there you have it. There's a little bit of the tones. This is a Wilkinson VS50, not V50, but it's a nice uh, kind of upgraded bridge than just your standard um, non-branded bent saddle sort of fender style kind of synchronized trim. So it's a cool piece. I think makes it stand out. I think what they're trying to do with these guitars really is to give a different kind of flavor of something that's familiar um, and give those upgrades for a really affordable kind of price range. So to my understanding right now, these are right under $700. I believe they're $679. do not quote me on that because prices have changed every week this year, it seems like. So I know that these are well under $1,000 and you get some nice Grovers, you get a cool bridge, you get some upgraded Seymour Duncans, flame top. Um, you know, it is a, a pretty heavy duty gloss polyurethane finish, but I don't think that's bad. Um, you got kind of the vintage neck tint going on with that gloss, but uh, it feels really good. It's a nice kind of C-shaped neck. It's fast. The radius is fast and uh, 22 frets, so you can get a little more rock and roll with it. I don't know too many people who are 
you know, going off up there, but yet everybody wants to say that they need the 22nd fret. Um, so you got it. This is um, probably for the player that likes a sort of old school foundation, but wants a little bit of the upgrade and would probably easily choose this guitar over its closest counterpart in the Fender lineup, which would probably be the Player Series HSS Strat. That is a way more um, bare bones, also very classically minded Strat style guitar. It's obviously Strat style because it's a Strat. Um, this is just, first of all, a little more angular, a little more modern looking. Um, it's got a little heavier duty um, contour there. And you know, it's, it's very simple when you get down to the construction of it, but I think that they've made really nice choices. You just got a master tone, master volume, uh, five way switch, got a humbucker in there so you can really rock out on this guitar. And it's very versatile and they make it in other finishes to where if this is a little too hardcore for you, um, they make Pacificas all throughout the line, all price ranges, and um, I think they're, they're worth checking out. And it's probably going to come a time where a lot of people want to stick in the Strat style, because maybe they start out with a Squire, uh, you know, Affinity with the HSS or something and want a little bit of an upgrade. And if you don't want to just keep it the exact same thing, but nicer components, like moving up to a player series, um, Pacific is a nice way to go to stay familiar with what you like but put a little extra flair on it and maybe something a little closer to the heavier side of things. So I want to hear what y'all think. I think the pickups are really the, the biggest part of this guitar for me that make it sound good, make it worthwhile. Um, the look is good. I, you know, it takes a little bit for me to get used to something that I know is inspired by a strap but looks a little bit off. But the more you play it and the more you get into it, it's, you know, it's a totally different guitar. And there's a reason why this Strat is as popular as it is, because it's kind of a perfect formula, but it's nice to see what other people have uh, that they can contribute. It's kind of in the, the Sir kind of vibe, not like Mr. Sir from Holes, like Sir, S-U-H-R, high-end, super boutique, S and uh, T style guitars, but with some nice upgrades, a little more boutique-y. This is kind of a super modern without being a super strat 1980s metal machine. So I think this finds its niche in a certain type of player that um, may not want to go super high end, uh, Sir or you know Ibanez, all, all that stuff. Yamaha makes a great product, uh, PAC 612, definitely worth uh, checking out. So let me know what you think in the comments. I wanna hear if you dig the tones. If you wanna hear it with some other pedals, you know we're always down to maybe we can compare this to a player strat HSS and see which one comes out on top. And uh, you know, it's gonna be versatile because it's got really nice pickups and it's an easy to play guitar. So I think it's a winner. You can find out more about it on our website, alamomusic.com. If you wanna see those comparisons, let us know in the comments and then subscribe so you can uh, kind of be notified when they come out. So thank you for watching, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.